Well, we uh, we started on beans. There's problems with the head. It's just it's not creating enough bolts because there's a short in it and one of the wires. So until that's fixed, we're gonna start going on corn on this field right here next to the driveway. So we got the uh, 46 out here with the grain cart and I'm in the 21 right now. So we got about 15 acres of beans combined. So yeah, but I'm just heading out here to dump into the grain cart and then I'll start working on some headlamps. So we got, it's far enough full, I would not have made it back. Thing. So I'm just listening to what my boss says to just dead head back basically. So yeah. But going now and it was yielding pretty it was yielding pretty good, I'd say, for here anyway. So but yeah. And the moisture is about oh it says 12% out here, but we gotta add a couple points, so it's probably around 14, 15%. So, yeah, but we're just doing, we're getting, the boss is out there getting wagons out, and he told me to just go start combining, and yeah, so I'm just heading back to the load under the grain cart, and then we'll start uh, going on this one, on this headland here, so that's why I didn't just cut through, because it was a headland, so yeah. Boss is putting something back up on there. He said just to wait and then he'll come back around when uh, he gets it done. So there he is. We're going now. Um, yield's doing pretty good. It's actually really good on this pass. Very right, last and not safe. So, but yeah, I'm about full and I don't, I don't think I'll make it back. So I'm just waiting for the sensor to go off and then I'll head back. So. But yeah, so we got two wagons down there plus the grain cart. So there's plenty of plenty of place to store it. There's plenty of place to put it. So until we get, because we don't have the auger hooked up yet on the for the 1066. So yeah, but. Otherwise, that's all I got. So I was just kind of doing this stuff and turn the AC on because I forgot to do that. It's starting to get hot in here. So, yeah. Not make it to the end. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. But otherwise, now we're just going back. I just kind of skipped that pass and then I'll go down. And then I'll dead head back and then take it and then finish that pass off. So, but yeah, maybe if we put some wagons or something in the middle here by the uh, can't even think of it now by the approach, so or something that way it's kind of halfway. But I don't know do something, but I don't think we're doing too much tonight. I think we're just filling up those wagons and then calling it good. So, but yeah. I don't know, I'd like to go longer than that, but whatever. This doesn't take very long to get full. So it's going, yeah, it's our, it's, it's yielding pretty good. So, and yeah, I kind of got some cat porn when I did that, because I was looking at the mirror, at the window up there and everything, and I was, I think I was doing good, I was waiting for the sensor to go off, didn't go off, and my boss was waiting for me to stop, and I slowed down, and then still went over, so, but whatever. It's kind of at an angle, so that's why. So, obviously up here it's not, but where I was, it's kind of at, it was at an angle, so. But yeah, so there's the fertilizer plant. 
Um, the headlands kind of go to the, or the old fertilizer plant, I should say. It's IPS now. But now I go, headlands that I did go to the end of the shed there. So, but yeah. Not too much going on today. It's working nice, it's doing a good job. I'm having fun. I'd much rather do this than go to a volleyball game. So, just to be there basically is why I would go just to do something. So, actually, I'm going all the way down. Alrighty guys, way, way up there. So let's get a move on. It'll be kind of a slow process, but whatever. So yeah, beautiful country up here. Beautiful. Then just kind of stops. <laughs> but yeah, this is just, just because it's on a hill and everything. So, but this is by far one of my favorite jobs, is combining corn. By far. So I don't know if this can be this field that we're gonna that we're gonna disc up, but we're gonna try using the planter on beans next year instead of the drill, but only for some of them. So I don't. I wonder if we'll try this field for discing it and then put it into beans, and then we'll disc it hard, six inches of ground, since we don't have a ripper or anything, and then we will um, do that. Actually, do that and then uh, yeah do that and then we'll cultivate it in the spring or something and see how it goes so my beans next year are gonna be with the planter so I'm not gonna mess around with the drill I just want to try out the planter on my stuff anyway so but yeah oh, looks like that. Oh, you So, oh, there's some socks wrapped around that thing, but, yeah. So, got the AC on, so I'm happy now. Yeah, so obviously I got a haircut. But, um, it's going good. Oh yeah, have, what, four passes done. And those headlands at the west side here where the wagon and the cart were at, where, um, we did that, that was it a week ago already? We did that a week ago, kind of to test moisture. And we only did two headlands then, or the one, two passes then, I'd say. And then, like a week or two later, then we did another two passes to check moisture. So, yeah. So, yield's doing pretty good here. I'm pleasantly surprised with it. So, I think the lowest I saw was like 150 or 140 or something, but that was also on hilly spots or some sandy spots. So, I think the highest was like 190. But that was also a dip, so I don't know the averages. <clears throat> Alrighty, it's going good now. Uh, boss had to come up and get his dog because he's following me all the way down here. Just falling on the outside of the row. And... So, he's a happy dog, but doesn't really listen. So, but yeah, it's doing good. Um, I don't think the monitor's doing pretty good for keeping track of the moisture, but that's not that big of a deal. It's all dry enough anyway. Really, just as long as the ears are down, that's all that really matters. So, in my opinion, that's probably wrong, but... If the ears are still up, then there's a problem. Then it's way too late. Then you need a dryer. But when they're down like this, and people have been combining corn for a while, then it's been, it's dry enough. So there's a couple spots where there's ears that were up, but not very far. And there's, the abundance of it was just enough to where it didn't matter. So, but yeah. 
kind of hard to do this and have to control the header height. So I just kind of set it at an even spot and then if it gets too low, I'll move it. So, but yeah, it's only going four mile an hour. I'm not going too fast. So I don't need to be going six mile an hour like the big shots. So, but yeah. So it's all doing good. I can't remember how, I think, I can't remember if it's 40 acres or 50. I can't quite remember. And then maybe it's 60. I'm not sure. I think it might be 60. I, I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah. So I got the one wagon about full down there. So it's just to fill up the other one and then that'll be it. So. Yeah. Okay, it's not even up there yet, so that's a good thing. So, as soon as it covers up that window is when I'm going to head back over there. So. Yeah. It's doing good. 180 right here. But. Oh, we're unloading here. So, and that's about perfect. Oh, I can't put some more in there, but whatever. Perfect. Alrighty, let's get backed up and head back. Wagons are full, combine's full now. So, we're just bringing it back to the yard. It's right there. So I just have to drive up the driveway basically. So we're just gonna put it in the shed. Then tomorrow when we get it unloaded, then we're gonna load this and I'll start combining it again. So, but yeah. So that'll probably be it for tonight. So thanks for watching. Well, actually not thanks for watching. So never mind. it'll just be see you tomorrow type of thing. Actually, it won't be tomorrow, it'll be Thursday, because I have a CCP tomorrow. Well, it'll be Thursday when I come back here. So, alrighty. Well, it as soon as I got the combine in the shed, it started raining. So that was perfect timing. So, we got a decent amount done today. We got two wagons full plus a grain cart. So that's about 700 bushel from the wagons. And then it's about, what was it, 5, 450 from the grain cart. So we got, we got well over a semi load. So that's good. We got one out and a decent amount of space too. So that worked out nicely. So I'm happy about that. So it won't be anything going on tomorrow because I have church, but it'll be Thursday when I'm back here. So there won't be anything going around here either. So, cause depending on how much it rains, but well, See you next. See you whenever, I guess, because whenever I get back. We're back. Um, leaving that little strip there for, uh, what's it called? For a snow fence, basically. Farms up there. Fertilizer plants behind me. We're almost full. We kind of pushed headlands down a little bit over there. So, we got the uh, auger, we got the 95 and the, um, auger hooked up so then we got the grain 46 in the grain cart out here right now and then we'll have the uh, wagons out here soon so it's not already out here so I'm about full because I pushed those headlands down and everything or I moved them down I guess so but yeah so we're just cruising along now and we I bought combine a bunch today filled up the semi so we're just you know he's gonna haul that in the morning and then he'll keep combine tomorrow and then so I don't know how much videos of beans I'll get in until Saturday because tomorrow I'm going to a game and tomorrow's Friday so it's the last home game so I figured I probably I should go and um, so yeah but now we're just cruising along and just trying to make, try not to get too full, and then we'll be, uh, 
a load, obviously. So, but uh, I figured I might as well because there's no flaps going up. It's just going out. So it's not like the 23. So yeah, but might as well turn that headlights on. There, that's a lot better. So yeah, but let's go and load quick, and all the wagons are up here. Perfect. And they're green. Awesome. Alrighty, let's go and load. Down and back. So that never happened before. But now we're gonna go to this north end here right by the yard, and then we're gonna do some headlands around some terraces, and yeah, or all the fun stuff. Dang. Dude's about spilling too much corn there. Well, I messed up over here, and I have a row of shame. So now I'm only doing five rows here, and there's one row there, and then I'll go and dump, because I'm getting a little full but I'll be able to make it back to the waterway and then head back with that one row. So, hopefully. But, yeah. So, otherwise, that's what we got going on right now. A little disappointing. But I really can't see the rows if you don't row shutoffs on, the, on our planter. So, all the rows get mixed together in spots. It gets hard to see, and it was my fault, so. But, yeah, so, <laughs> that's about it for right now, so. Get all of it into the wagon, so both wheels are full, grain cart's full, it's 8.30, I'm just going to get the combine filled up and we'll call it night, so, but yeah. So, she's full. So, I couldn't make it back, but whatever. So, now we're just heading back. This will be it for tonight. Just gonna let the thing run for a little bit and then I'll shut it off. So, I got the header shut off already. Let the separator run for a little bit and I'll shut that off. So, but yeah, so that would be it for tonight. So, uh, thanks for watching.